identify the main public concerns, such as public safety, fairness in law enforcement, and community trust in the justice system. Is not having an impact on public safety. In State's fact. attorney Kim Fox tonight tells the I-team that before she leaves office early next year, she wants traffic stop-based searches by police to be prohibited unless there is a public safety threat. Doing these searches, again, searches that have a disproportionate impact on black and brown communities, that don't net a public safety benefit, we should not do that. Under this newly drafted state's attorney policy that has been obtained tonight by the I-team, traffic stops for routine minor infractions would not be allowed, and the state's attorney would decline to prosecute cases that are solely the product of a non-public safety traffic stop, even if a gun, drugs, or stolen property were found during the subsequent search. For instance, the case of Dexter Reed, if he hadn't been stopped under a policy that would prevent non-public safety kinds of stops, he would probably still be alive today. But at the same time, you'd have an individual with a gun. Where's the balancing factor in that? I would also say we'd have a police officer who wasn't shot in the line of duty as well. District Attorney Kim Fox's proposed policy aims to reduce prosecutions stemming from traffic stops, sparking varied responses from the community. Balancing the importance of law and order, individual responsibility, and the effective use of law enforcement resources is critical. Critics argue that this policy might undermine public safety by restricting police from enforcing laws and removing illegal guns, drugs, and stolen goods from the streets. Examining the motives and fears behind the policy, along with public reactions, reveals a complex landscape. Do ethnic minority communities feel distrust and disenfranchisement due to frequent traffic stops? Meanwhile, other community members and law enforcement officials worry that the policy could lead to increased crime and diminished public safety.